I want to discuss another inquiry tool that the textbook just barely glosses over, and that is the list command. Uh, the list command is similar to properties and the information that it will give you. It will give you, for example, the length of a line, the area of a, a closed shape, the center point, diameter of a circle, except you're not allowed to change it. That's the big benefit of the properties tool is you can change the values. But if you just want to view it real quick, list is another way to do this. The list command can be accessed with keyboard shortcut LI or LS. They both work. Otherwise, rather than being over here with the other inquiry tools, it's listed under properties. If you click the properties drop down panel, then you can choose list. Then, then just simply select the item you wish to learn about and press enter. And it'll bring up your AutoCAD text window and it will tell you all about that particular item. So you can see that in the case of a line, it tells me what its XY coordinates of its endpoints are. It also tells me how long the line is and what its angle in the XY plane is. Now I can either close this window or press the F2 key to toggle it off. And again, you can see a different type of object such as a circle. When I select it and press enter, now I get radius, circumference, and area. And uh, again, some center point information here as well. If I have a polygon, then I can list it and take a look at that information. And then again, it's going to give me area and perimeter, but it's also going to give me every XY coordinate of the endpoints around this shape. So again, just another tool for quickly gaining information from your drawing. But again, unlike properties, you cannot modify the information. You can just simply view it.